What's up you guys, my name is Austin and I'm just here to welcome you all to my NCAA 14 Dynasty. Now I've, I've put a lot of thought into what team I choose. I put so much thought into what team I wanted to choose. And I finally found the perfect team that I've never seen anybody even consider. This team is bad. This team's very bad. Uh, this team has like no, no leadership, no nothing. They've got a decent backup quarterback when they want to graduate, but that's pretty much about it. They really need help, and they really need a new coach and, and everything like that. So, without further ado, I'd like to welcome you all to this dynasty. And, you know, hopefully you guys really, really, really enjoy this because it's it was a lot of work to put this duty together, and wow. Whew, I loved it, though. A lot of work, a lot of fun, and I hope you guys just, you know, are reading this right there. As I said, please leave a like on this video, and don't forget to leave some comments, and please subscribe to me for more of this, because I'm going to be putting this out uh, a lot. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Eagle's Nest. My name is Aaron Hayes, your source for all things Eastern Michigan related, and today is a very big day here in Ypsilanti. The Eagles took the practice field for the first time and everything went very smooth. But what I want to talk about is head coach Ron English. Ron English is heading into the final year of his five-year contract and it's safe to say that he's on the hot seat. In four years here in Eastern Michigan, Ron has posted a 10-38 record. His first year 0-12, his second year 2-10. His third year was his best year here in Eastern Michigan at 6-6, but they did not make it to a bowl game. And last year, 2012, they went 2-10. Now let's talk about 2012. They ranked 108th in passing yards with 171.2 per game, 60th in rushing yards with 162.5 per game. They were 100 with points for with 21.3, and they were ranked 115th for points against with 37.6. Stat-wise, but the players, Tyler Benz was the leading passer with 1,506 yards, 14 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions. Alex Gillett was also on the list with 548 yards, five touchdowns and seven interceptions. In the rushing game, Bronson Hill was their leading guy with 140 carries, 905 yards and six touchdowns, while Alex Gillett added 402 yards and 63 carries with four touchdowns. The receiving core was very bland with Garrett Hoskins at 38 receptions, 537 yards and three touchdowns, and Donald Scott, 19 receptions, 255 yards and three touchdowns. And when we're talking about Ron English, let's talk about something he made recently. He recently made the worst coaches list in the NCAA, along with names such as Tim Beckman, Kirk Ferentz, Lane Kiffin, and Charlie Weiss. Now, those were actually some very decent coaches, uh, specifically Kirk Ferentz and Lane Kiffin, who have both posted many winning seasons at their respective schools, but they have just fallen off in the recent years. Now, what I don't, what I don't like is how... They really haven't treated um, they haven't treated English with as much respect as I think he deserves. When he got here, he was he was destined to fail. This is a very struggling program, and it still is. So that's why I think that English deserves at least one more year here at Eastern Michigan to try and prove his worth. He runs a very nice offense here. He's been running the one back for as long as he's been here, and you know his rushing game has always been on top of it. He's always had a very good rushing game, so I mean, what's the point of trying to change it all? There's really no one that Eastern Michigan would be considering to even to even hire before the season starts because I personally think that they're going to give English the last year on his contract. I think he deserves it. He's shown that his offense can be very effective on the ground, so what's the what's the point of trying to change that right now? The offense, the team, the team likes him. The offense has been running smoothly. And the defense has been playing fine. And I know it's it's only spring practice, but when I was out there today, it just it just seemed that everything was working so much better than it was last year. So I don't know why anyone would even be bringing up points or anything trying to get Ron English out of there. Because, you know, I like him. I'm an English supporter. And I'm going to stay that way. Until after this year, if he doesn't... If he doesn't prove himself, hey, then he's going to have to go. But, you know, I'm not like that. I believe everyone deserves a chance. And with how poorly English has been doing, 
I think this is his last chance. Unless he improves so much, I really want him to be good. I want him to be a good head coach because he was actually pretty good defensive coordinators for Michigan and Louisville. And, you know, he's got, he's he succeeded before. So I know that he can succeed again. And I, I know that this is that team. This is a very, very talented team. There's a lot of fast guys on this team that would make his one-back offense just so successful if he could just utilize his players more. That's all, that's one of the only bad things I have to say about Ron. He just doesn't utilize his players as much as he should. Now, if he does that this year, bowl game. Straight up's going to say it, bowl game. So now that we got all that out of the way, we've got some time for some viewers to call in and ask some questions. And we're going to start with this caller. So why do you still believe in English? You even said it yourself. He made the worst coaches list. Like I said earlier, I believe in giving everybody chances. In English's case, he's got one year left to change how people think of him. And if he does that, I think you'll all be surprised because I know that he can do it. But thank you for the question. I believe we've got another listener calling in. So let's see. Yes, we do. Caller, take it away. Um, hi. I know you don't feel like there's anybody out there that Eastern Michigan would consider hiring if that becomes the case this offseason, but how do you feel about Ypsilanti head coach John Schaefer? You do know that he's won four state championship games, and he runs an offense that could potentially be very successful with the players that Eastern Michigan has. I like him as a person, but the way he runs his offense is just out of this world weird. Maybe if he ran a more pro style, or even a one-back offense, I consider him a good candidate for the job next year. But those four state championships have come in only six years at Ypsilanti without offense he runs. Surely you've seen it work like magic. This is college football, not high school. Completely different from each other. They're hardly even comparable, but thank you for the question. Sadly, that is the last call that we are going to be able to take today. We are running out of time very quickly. It has been a very, very good day here in Ypsilanti. A lot of good sports things have happened today. Remember, everybody, my name is Aaron Hayes, your host of the Eagle's Nest here on WEMU. Join us tomorrow for more football talk or anything Eastern Michigan sports related. Breaking news from the campus of Eastern Michigan. Head coach Ron English has publicly announced that he will not return for the 2013 season. He has given no reason as to why he is leaving the team, and by the looks of it, we won't be getting one. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Aaron Hayes, your host of the Eagles Nest here on WEMU. Today is a very, very big day for Eastern Michigan football. Ron English, the former head coach, has decided to leave Eastern Michigan and not return for the 2013 season. He has given no reason as to why he's leaving, but sources are saying that it's probably due to the fact he, he has not done good at all his whole career here. Now, I can't say that I'm not surprised, but I'm also very surprised. I, I did see this coming. I saw something like this happening, but I thought it would, be, it would come after this season. I thought he was going to stay. I was having high hopes for him the whole offseason, and I, just, I think he, he just didn't want to do this anymore. He didn't want to, to lose. Or something like that. I don't even know. I don't even know his reason to leave. I can just, you know, judge from what people have said, which may or may not be true, and my own opinion. My opinion? He just doesn't want to be here anymore. Wants to move on and wants to try to succeed somewhere else, you know, maybe down at FCS level where maybe he probably would fit in more or something like that, because I don't think any FBS schools are going to be considering him as a viable coach option, seeing as he only won 10 games in four years here at Eastern Michigan. But I'm also very upset that he's not going to be returning for the 2013 season. And also headlining today's topics is John Schaefer. John Schaefer, the former Ypsilanti High School head coach, four state championships in seven years coaching there he he has been hired he has been hired as the new head coach for Eastern Michigan he runs an offense that relies heavily on the option now I don't know if anybody else is very religious about Eastern Michigan football as me but Eastern Michigan does not run the option this is not an option team 
I don't think it fits in at all with this program. This program's meant for a one-back or a pro-style offense, and the way that he runs his offense is just weird. And it does not fit in with Eastern Michigan at all. I'm not the happiest person right now. I really don't think that he belongs here. I think he belongs somewhere else. Somewhere that actually runs the option. But I have no say in it. I have no say in whoever they should hire. I felt like there were some other people that you know, could have been better for the job. I don't know. This is what we get. We had John Schaefer. I mean, I'm. I don't know. I don't know. He's a very. He's got experience in coaching. But he's got no experience with the college coaching world. I think I would have rather had an interim head coach. I don't know. When Joe Paterno was fired, you know, they hired an interim head coach. And a bunch of other places have used interim head coaches. And they, they didn't do that bad. But I guess Eastern Michigan doesn't want to go that route. I think they just felt more confident hiring someone who had head coaching experience rather than somebody who had no head coaching experience and just worked with the players a little bit more than anybody else. Really, I it's it's a whole confusing process right now. I don't know how Eastern Michigan's going to take to this. I don't know how the team is going to react. They seem to like having a new head coach, but when I was talking to some of the players, they they don't really feel at ease right now. Very, very difficult time down in the practice field because they have no they have no leadership right now. Ron was their leader and I don't know what they're gonna do without him. Now I don't know. I don't know how I feel either. I don't really like it, but at the same time, I can't say that it's something that needed to happen. I know, I know, uh, a few weeks ago I was I was riding the Ron English bandwagon and I really wanted him here, but I mean, I, what can you say? It's what, it's what happens. I can't control it, nobody else can control it, Ron just made the choice himself. Didn't want to be here anymore. Wants to go somewhere else and try to win. Hey, we can't do anything about it. So, very, very, very confusing day right now. I don't know what it's going to be like at the start of the season. I don't even know if the offense is going to be usable. It seems like a very hard offense to grasp. And I, I think that they'll be able to understand how to use it, but I don't think they'll be able to use it to their full potential. When I was watching John in the, was it the semis this year? Yes, the semis. He, the way that he runs his offense, he, he usually comes out in a shotgun formation, might have split backs, it might be by the quarterback by himself, it might be with one running back back there, but the way that he runs his offense, he can he can motion guys around, get people where he needs them to be, audible into all these different option plays, many different formations. It's a very intricate offense. But I just don't think that it's going to be useful in college because they are a lot better at defense in college, and option is one of the more basic plays in any playbook. So, I don't know how that's gonna go, but I think we're gonna be able to we're gonna be able to judge that. There is three weeks left before the kickoff for Eastern Michigan, so that's three weeks to learn the new playbook. Hopefully, they can get it down by then. That's all I can really ask for. It's against an FCS opponent, so I think if they can get some of the playbook down, they will be fine. I just don't know how they'll be able to do in MAC play if they can't get some of it down. But anyways, join us tomorrow for more Eastern Michigan talk. My name is Aaron Hayes, the host of the Eagles, and that's here on WEMU, where everything is Eastern Michigan related, and I am signing off.